hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i have another anastasia beverly hills pr review collection thing so i received the anastasia beverly hills and Alyssa edwards collection um this is the pr box i do think that they were selling some of these in the beginning like in their first launch date which was actually a few days ago i didn't receive this until two days ago which was already after it had already launched so so this isn't really a first impressions because i have already used this once um i did my makeup yesterday and i used this and i didn't really get too much of a feeling of like how i feel about everything yet because i did only use it once so we're gonna be using it again today this is the pr box i don't even know if this is completely in frame i hope it is but she's pretty hefty so this is what comes in the PR kit if you haven't seen already which I'm pretty sure you have so first up here we have this nice pink bedazzled mirror that says beast and then we have a large kind of fan thing that also says beast and then right here we have the actual palette so I'm just going to take out everything and show you guys because this is pretty heavy here is the mirror so this right here like I said says beast it is pink bedazzled so next up we have the fan so this is the fan right here, it just opens up like this, and as you can see, it's pink and it says Beast. So lastly for the PR box, we have the actual palette, which is the star of the show. So this is the little box that it comes in, obviously all the information is right here on the back. You guys have probably already seen this because it has been all over social media, all over the internet, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, everything. But yeah, these are the colors and of course the um, standard Anastasia brush that comes in every single palette. Let me just take this out. I have a ton of these brushes now. Like I have I think six or like seven maybe. I have a lot of them. And then last but not least, this is not part of the collection but this is also launching, you know, with the same, it's like all launching together kind of and this came in the PR package as well. It's vegan, non comedogenic dermatologist tested, ophthalmologist tested, long wearing, clinically tested, water resistant, oil free, alcohol free, and gluten free. So right now there is only one shade. Um, this is what the component itself looks like. Pretty, pretty big. Um, there comes, there's 0.5 fluid ounces or 15 milliliters in this bad boy right here. Okay, so I'm putting some of the primer and it's very thin like it's more of a runny consistency like it's not super runny like a foundation like I don't know if you can see it's not really moving but just the just the like formula itself is pretty light and like watery kind of so I did notice that yesterday as well um, is that a good thing or a bad thing I don't know I'm kind of more used to using a concealer something that is a little bit thicker when I do my eyeshadow I like to have my base still wet and tacky so that my eyeshadows really stick and just really look the best that they can um so i did kind of have to go in with a little bit more than i wanted to um and it does dry pretty fast so i'm gonna go ahead and start with the purple in here which is believe and i'm gonna start by packing that in my crease so um i only sat here for like 30 seconds trying to figure out what I'm going to do and it already creased and it does look like it's getting pretty dry already so yeah just keep that in mind I'm going to start right here in the outer corner I want to use as many colors as I possibly can I can tell like literally just by packing this on it is super super pigmented I'm not really doing any blending yet as you can tell um, but I am just packing it on right now, trying to take this really slow. I did watch a few reviews and I saw that some people were having trouble with the purple and the blue, just kind of with it getting patchy in certain areas. And I don't know if it's my brushes because they're not like completely clean, but this, this shade doesn't look like it's completely matte. Okay, like that was happening to me yesterday too. And I don't know if I like spilled something in here which I don't remember doing but this looks like the the blue and the purple look like they have some like <clears throat> really really tiny shimmers in there I don't know if they're supposed to be in there I don't know if I did that I don't know if anyone else is experiencing that but So 
I think I'm going to go in with Texas Made, which is the bright neon pink that's in there. And when I used it yesterday, I only used a tiny bit of it, and I used it actually on my lower lash line. Um, it was insanely pigmented, and it looked just so freaking neon and pretty, so I'm excited. with each of the shadows and slowly start blending them higher and higher. I always like to start taking my shadows a little bit lower and really working my way up instead of kind of going too high and then not being really able to fix it. So I do really like to take my time and start small. I'm gonna take the yellow which is brick road and I've heard so many good things about this shade that like this is the yellow like the yellow so I'm just gonna take some on this small brush and I'm just gonna go ahead on top of both of these shades so from first impressions of using this yellow it reminds me a lot of the yellow in the morphe James Charles palette um, especially because of like the fallout um just like i guess formula wise it really reminds me of that but that yellow is an amazing amazing shade like i love that yellow um and this does seem like i do need to build it up a bit maybe if i use a different brush it'll it'll probably work a little bit differently but i do like to use this like kind of small brush with yellows because Usually I use it as like my last blending color and I really want to be able to pack on the shadow and fit it in to a small space if that makes sense. With the pink and the purple to kind of get rid of the yellow that fell in there and just kind of blend it together even more. You never want to put your blending colors, like you never want to put your colors down and then just, just kind of leave it at that. Like you want to keep going back and forth with your shades and that's what's really going to give you the best blend. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with the purple shade which is the lead um, and I'm going to start trying to blend it a little bit better into the yellow with most purple and yellow shadows I have they will blend into each other and they will kind of make like a pink shade in between a pink ish purplish pinkish shade in between and this doesn't seem to be doing that which I find very very weird just because usually that would happen and it would kind of help them blend in together a little bit better one time I did it a look just with purple and yellow and the blend was was really nice because it looked like it had a a, sh a shade in between that it didn't have and this doesn't seem to be doing that which I don't know if I like because it's just kind of looking a little bit weird in between it's looking a little bit like gray or like purple like purplish grayish <laughs> I do like the yellow I do think that even though I need to pack on the yellow a little bit and also I was thinking it might I might have needed to pack it on because <clears throat> the primer already dried a bit and usually I don't need to do that like when I'm using concealer and I think it's because it stays tacky so 
I do like the yellow. The shade of it is really, really nice, and it's really easy to work with. The purple is nice on its own. Like, when I first applied it, it's, it's a really nice shade, but I probably would use some shades in between rather than just using the purple and then the yellow because I don't really like how it looks in between there, but we're just going to go ahead and cut the crease. So, this is the primer that I used um, to... To prime my eye um, and I'm usually with like a concealer I'm it's still pretty wet and I can like use it but as you can see that's like pretty much dry there's like nothing left for me to use there so this primer I wouldn't say it's drying it just sets down I just don't know if I would use this on a day-to-day -day basis or if I would use it for like looks that I'm gonna be doing you know like an intense cut crease or anything like that because it's just not I feel like it's just not working for me the way that I want it to work for me but it's not bad like that it's really really crisp I did have to go in with another fresh layer of product which I don't normally have to do but it's fine it's fine it's fine um so I did layer it over the concealer or like I mean the eyeshadow that I already had which I don't do all the time because sometimes most of the time I just want my cut crease to be like nice and blank like a blank canvas uh, but this did cover the pink shadow pretty nicely. Okay, so I'm going to use now the blue shade, which is Dream It. And I'm going to start packing that right next to the purple right there on that cut crease. shimmer I think I'm just gonna take this right here which is inspire and I'm gonna put that on the remaining part of the cut crease I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out uh, but whatever I just put on a lash and did the lower lash line and that is what this eye is looking like. So I'm going to use the same primer. Um, maybe one of these days I will do like a, a primer versus concealer video and see which I like better. But just for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep on using the primer just so I can get a pretty good like idea of how I like it and all the stuff. So I'm going to start with the purple shade again, and then I'm going to blend it out with the pink, and then I'm going to blend it out with the yellow. Blue light. Like the cool blue light. Like the cool blue light. want a more like
like in depth really detailed video on how I blend and how I get my colors very pigmented but still very blended at the same time I do have a video dedicated to just that and also in the same video how I cut my crease um, and all of the tips and tricks that I do so I will have that right here in a little card so that you guys can go check that out if you're interested but I have had people tell me that it did help them a lot and especially with this like reverse blending technique um, sometimes it can be really hard to understand and to master and find your own like your own groove I'm gonna go back in with the pink and make sure that's still nice and intense after going in with the yellow the yellow kind of falls out on top of it and can kind of cover it so I'm gonna go back in with the pink to not only intensify the pink again but to make sure that it's starting to blend with the yellow as well I'm now gonna go in with this shade right here which is beast it is just a matte black Usually, I would start with the black and then go ahead with the purple and then go with the pink and the yellow, but this is just <clears throat> a last minute decision, but I don't know if you guys can see, but this is why I don't like to, I don't like to use darker shades after I've already used the lighter shades because as you can see, as I'm blending, the black is just kind of blending away almost. There's already so many layers of eyeshadow on here that it's just making it hard for it to like really stick and to really work. So, okay, and I'm just gonna take a generous amount and I'm gonna start doing a full cut crease. So first, I'm just gonna kinda see how high I want it to go. And we're just going to cutting the crease it's just a little bit too dry I don't know why it's doing that but I'm just gonna take it off and then I'm gonna go in with like what I would usually use and then I'll come right back okay so instead of the primer I use the makeup revolution cut crease canvas this is the white shade I love to use that to cut my crease it is an also like a watery thin consistency but um, it is so easy to work with. I'm gonna take Dream It, which is the blue that we used on this other eye. When I'm packing this on, I'm gonna leave a little space in between um, the cut crease. So it's gonna be kind of like a negative space kind of look. <laughs>
that is done and now I'm actually gonna use kind of all of the colors so I'm gonna start with the yellow and then go to the pink and then go to the purple and then go to the blue and then maybe black all the way in the end if it fits and I'm just gonna be doing that starting with the yellow and ending all the way over here so let's do that So I am basically done with this video. This is the first look right here. Um, this is my second time using this palette. And then this right here is my second look and my third time using the palette. So you guys decide how you think it looks. Um, let me just look up close. Oh, yeah, mirror. <laughs> Great mirror. So... So this eye right here, I do like how it looks. I do like how everything blended. Everything did blend very nicely. The only thing that I personally don't like, which is not necessarily Anastasia's fault or the fault of the eyeshadows, is right in between the purple and the yellow right here. I was expecting to blend it out and get like a pinkish shade in between because usually with my other shadows, that's what happens. It didn't really happen with this shadow with these shadows they still blended together as you can see they still did blend together they just didn't make that shade in between that i was hoping for but you know it's still it's still blended and that's great the shimmer i only used one shimmer today on both eyes i used um this lid shade and the same thing on my inner corners but it did work really really nicely um, so overall, everything on this eye is very, very blended, and I do like how it looks. I love the colors, first of all. Pigment, the eye primer. So the eye primer used as an eye primer, like actually just to prime your eyes, is pretty normal. It's pretty basic. Um, it does make the eyeshadows pop, and it does dry down quickly, and if you use too much of it, it can get a little bit cakey. So I did have to go in with a few layers um, to prime my eye, just because I wanted it to stay a little bit tacky, and if I don't use enough, I feel like it just dries into nothing. So once I started blending, I started getting like two little flakes of primer that completely dried and just came off. You can't really see it because they're really, really tiny. But that was one thing that I noticed and then I tried to use this to kind of cut my entire crease and it was just really really hard to work with to cut the crease. Um, I feel like the formula was just a little bit too dry for my liking. It was just a little bit, it was kind of tugging, it wasn't really getting as clean as I wanted it to be and then once I went in with my Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas it was just looking so much better. Um, I did use this at the end to um, kind of clean up that little negative space line I have in between and it worked fine and then I set it with white eyeshadow but um, yeah this primer it's not my favorite I'm not going to lie I was really really excited for this and I had really high hopes I probably still will use it maybe I'll mix it in with something but um, definitely for cut creases I'm gonna stick to my makeup revolution um, canvas it just works amazing for me and I really no okay I'll give it a 7 out of 10 I'll give it a 7 out of 10 um, like I said it did make the eyeshadows pop it obviously I did blend, was able to blend very nicely on top of it and um, it is nice it's just not my favorite and I don't see myself using it every single day so 7 out of 10 for her all of the shades were beautifully pigmented and they blended out for me like a dream. I've seen a lot of people have kind of issues with the purple or the blue with getting a little bit patchy. And as you guys can see, my eyes are pretty much perfect. I don't have any complaints when it comes to the eyeshadows. Riviera palette, which I have right here, does also have a pink and a purple. Um, and if you're someone who's looking for kind of just those shades, um, here is kind of the comparison. So, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell the comparison 
kind of holding them like this but just from looking at it the purple in the Alyssa Edwards palette does look a lot more vibrant and the pinks they kind of look they look pretty similar in the pans they do look pretty similar but I have used both of them separately and I will say that the Alyssa Edwards um, purple and pink are both so much more vibrant than in the Riviera palette so you decide um, if those are like certain shades that you're looking for you decide which one you would like to get but so I would give this palette a 10 out of 10 100% like this palette is literally freaking amazing um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the review please let me know what you think down below and I will see you guys in my next video mm -hmm.